everyone, Alan here and welcome to the Magic Minute where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. Today we're talking about thumb tips. Make sure you stay till the end of the video where I share a special little known secret on how to get the most out of your thumb tips, a special technique. Let's get to it. Okay, on the market today there are two main types of thumb tips. There are soft vinyl ones and the hard ones. So, uh, if you want my opinion, forget the soft vinyl ones. They're only really good for certain magic tricks. They're a good secondary one to have for certain effects. Uh, say when you have to hold on to or put in a weirdly shaped hard objects like coins. But uh, for the most part, most of the magic you're going to want to do, a good hard thumb tip is the way to go. This is good for uh, build changes and silk vanishes and all that kind of stuff. So that's what you want to take a look at, okay? So if you want to get one of these for yourself, I've left a a couple of links down in the description so you can get one of these for yourself. Okay, so you want to make a handkerchief disappear. You either just got a thumb tip yourself, you uh, picked one up after watching this video, or you have one and you're not sure what to do with it, or you want to just know how they work. I'm going to show you how to make a handkerchief disappear. It's important that you get a handkerchief that's the right size to fit in your thumb tip. You want to be able to still get your thumb in it a little bit. Uh, if it's packed too far, it'll fall off and you won't be able to keep that on your thumb. So Make sure that you get a thumb tip that, or a, excuse me, a handkerchief that will fit your thumb tip. This is a silk handkerchief, 100% silk handkerchief, and it's about six inches across. I also have links for those in the description below. And here's how you uh, make it disappear. Okay, you take the handkerchief, and this is the way it's traditionally taught. I'm going to show you a better technique at the end of this video, okay? You push it in, and it disappears. Some things you have to have set up already. You have to have the thumb tip on your thumb, okay? And don't worry if your thumb tip doesn't match your skin color exactly. Uh, this doesn't. This is much more orange than my skin. My skin is much more pink, at least on my hands. This does not match my skin tone at all, and that looks like a really fake plastic thumb. It's because it is. Uh, if you're using this, using the tip correctly, it really shouldn't matter. You can have one that's painted lime green and nobody should see it. It's usually hidden behind your fingers when they're curled naturally like this. And if you're worried about how far it extends out from your thumb, now look, th that's just the world's longest thumb right there. That is ridiculously long. But look, if I turn it edgewise and point my thumb directly at your eyes, now you can't even tell how long it is. Starts on your thumb, you take the handkerchief, you stroke it through your hand like this. Now here's where the sleight of hand part starts coming in, okay? So as I come through, I'm gonna do this one or two times before I do the move. That way I just kind of set up the audience's expectation of that movement. I want them to get used to me doing this. So whenever I do something sneaky, it doesn't look unusual. Now you see on that last time, whenever I pulled the handkerchief through my hand, I used my thumb of my right hand. This is pushed all the way into the what they call the crotch of your thumb. This little uh, crook here. It's pushed right up against that and then clipped. So that way it gets pulled off of the left thumb as you're drawing the handkerchief through. So now you're here, you've made a fist. You're going to tuck this into your fist. Now, here's where I'm going to show you the special technique. The way it's taught in every magic book I've ever seen is to kind of tuck with each of your fingers like this, like you're just making sure it's really in there. How much do you need to tuck a handkerchief? You can oh, way overdo this. And then why go in with your thumb like this afterwards? It just looks weird. And especially for people who know what a thumb tip is, they're going to know right away what you're doing. So if you really want to be deceptive with it, I suggest doing it this way. Now watch me, okay? It goes into my fist like this, and now it's gone. Subtle difference, but an important one. You see how much better the second one looks? It's because I'm using this special technique. Everything is the same up until the very last bit. So everything's deposited and the handkerchief is going into the fist just like normal. 
And I only use one finger to do this. Nobody does all these extra fingers like this. This is just weird. That's not natural at all. If you learn anything on this channel, that naturalness is key. The magic that you do, the sleight of hand that you do, should look exactly like how a person would do something normally. That's what makes it deceptive. As soon as you do something that looks like a magic move, people are going to know. Okay? So, here's the technique. My middle finger is going to push into my fist, but it's going to push that thumb tip out of the way and actually back out of the hand like this. Okay? The right hand doesn't really move at all, the index finger, just to open up a little bit, but they don't finagle the thumb tip at all, that's how you drop it. Middle finger pushes down, gets that back of the thumb tip to pop out, just a little bit here. And now when my middle finger, which has been pushing in the handkerchief the whole time, pushes to move that thumb tip back, nothing looks weird. It looks exactly like it should. Now my thumb enters from the back, and kind of like this pinchy motion, but now I can load the thumb tip onto my thumb without my thumb ever going into the top of my fist there. That really throws people off, people that know about the thumb tip. They go, wait a minute, he couldn't have used the thumb tip because he just had to jam his thumb down in there to get it. So, middle finger goes in, thumb is pushed. There you go. Okay, so I hope that video helped you. Again, this uh, is only one application of many things you can do with a thumb tip. If you guys want to see more of those things, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified whenever I put a new video up. I try to put up a new video at least once a week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.